as part of the life that nourishes me that just doesn't fit in, right? So to paint a bit of a picture, typically I will go to bed by 9 p.m. and be up at five, roughly. That's kind of roughly when I'm at my best. And I, I didn't always wake up that early, but ever since my kids were born, they've always been early risers. And I know that I am a better human being when I've had time to myself in the morning before my kids are up or before my wife is up. Right? I've, I've experimented with both of those things. And when I've had that me time in the morning, I'm a better doctor, I'm a better father, I'm a better husband. So I prioritize it. So that means I go to bed early so that I can get up at five and not be exhausted. So I have a good eight hours of sleep. And then I engage in a morning routine. And that morning routine, for me, at the moment, it's always had this, what I call a 3M framework, mindfulness, movement, and mindsets, right? A practice of mindfulness, practice of movement, practice of mindset. So it's currently for me looks like this. I get up, I come down to my living room, and I just learned a new breath hold meditation practice from this chap called Irwin Lacour, who uh, created the Move Nats, natural movements sort of schools around the world. And it's been wonderful. It's a meditation done through breath holding. Okay, it's, it's not very commonly out there. It's very, very different from the Wim Hof method. There's no hyperventilation at all. It's really taught me a lot about how much energy we consume when we are thinking. And I've learned that the more my mind can be, the quieter my mind is, the quieter my body is, the longer my breath hold goes. It's been it really has been profound. So I spend about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes doing this kind of breath hold meditation practice in the morning. Then what I do is I make, uh, make a coffee in my kitchen. I'm very precise with how I make it. I weigh out 15 grams of coffee, 250 mils of water, but then I put a timer on for five minutes lights. In those five minutes, right? I don't look at email. I don't look at Instagram. I do a five minute body weight workout in my pajamas, right? Sometimes it's press ups and tricep dips. Sometimes it's kettlebell swings, whatever, right? But it, I've stacked it on so I, I never miss it because I never miss my coffee. So I never miss my workouts. So I do a five minute workout every day. And then after that, I have the reward of a nice hot cup of fresh coffee. I sit there and drink it. And I'll read like an uplifting book. I've got a few books always kicking around in my kitchen. And I'll just sit there and I'll. You know, I'll pick one and it's always something that uplifts me or a spiritual book or something that makes me think deeply. And if my kids are down before that, like sometimes my daughter will be down by this time. She's got the sixth sense that daddy's up doing something downstairs. You know, the old wrong and light would honestly would, I used to get frustrated. It's like, oh man, I just need this time to myself. And I've completely changed. I embrace it now. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. Okay. Hey, darling, how you doing? Look, uh, sometimes now for the mindset piece, we'll do affirmations together. So she'll come and sit next to me uh, and I say, hey, you know, daddy's just doing his routine. Do you want to join me for the, for the last bit? She goes, yeah, yeah. So we sit there, we hold hands and we, for a minute or two, we'll say, I'm happy, I'm calm, I'm stress-free. I'm happy, I'm calm, I'm stress-free. We'll just repeat affirmations. Um, or she'll say, oh, daddy, I'm going to sit next to you and read as well while you're doing your reading. And for me, on the days where I have that practice, and honestly, it doesn't really take me more than half an hour of this. Like some days you'll compress it to 20 minutes. Some days you'll have the luxury of 40 minutes. But I have created a lifestyle where I do that almost every single morning. And that's important to me, right? So a lot of people find this, oh, it's a sacrifice. Well, look, I have helped my patients bring morning routines into their life, even five minute morning routines. Or well, frankly, if the morning doesn't work for you, fine, find another time. But I think that daily practice of solitude is something I do. So I prioritize my sleep. Okay. I have a morning routine every morning. And I will usually make sure I go for at least a 30-minute walk every day. These are the kind of, um, I was going to say non-negotiables. But I even have a problem these days with the term non-negotiable. Because even that implies to me like a rule that I have to stick to. And I've kind of moved on from that light. So I think for many years, I would have called these things non-negotiables. But I have found that as I have less rules around what I do, 
I'm actually much more sustainable with what I do. And, and, and what I mean by that is um, self-compassion has been something I've worked on a lot over the last few years. I think for much of my life, I didn't really like the person who I was. Right? I didn't actively know that, but I would talk down to myself. I'd call myself a loser a lot. I'd, um, yeah, I, I, I think I really struggle with that component of things. And as I've learned to love myself, right, as I really like the person who I see in the mirror these days, I don't need the rules anymore. I do that morning routine, not because I said I would and I have to stick to it. No, because a person who loves himself wants to do stuff that nourishes them. And what it means, Light, is if I ever miss a day, I don't beat myself up. Right? I'm like, oh, cool. Oh, yeah, you notice you were getting a bit more triggered in the afternoon. You weren't quite as calm as usual. Ah, yeah, you know what? You're much better when you actually have that time in the morning. Okay, tomorrow, make sure you do that again. Because this is what I see uh, at New Year a lot like with people. Um, they make these strict resolutions, right? I'm going to meditate this year, right? This is the year, right? And they start meditating. And let's say they use an app and there's a streak going on, like a lot of these apps do. And then this would have been me. I'm 14 days in, I'm doing well. And then I'd miss a day. Oh my God. If it was the end of the world, man, you couldn't do it, could you? Right? You start it, you miss the day, you've got to start the streak all over again negative self-talk. And as I've learned to love myself, I don't need the rules anymore. I don't make New Year's resolutions anymore because I don't need to. A person who truly loves themselves does this stuff, in my view, because they want to. So, I mean, there's a lot more I could say about the sort of things I do each day, but these are the real things that I prioritize.